Good afternoon everybody, Orin J here with another War of the Visions Guild Wars video and today we're going to be talking about winning Guild Wars again. This time we're going to look at things on the offensive side. Last week we looked at defense and how rotating your defensive teams can help you win some of those really close matches and today I want to talk to you about the different power levels of accounts within your guild and how you can use those power levels to help you full clear um, your opponents. So to start, every guild's going to have its whales, or at least its whaliest players. These are going to be the vanguard of your offense. These are the people you want attacking first, hitting those full health teams, and really trying to counter the meta. These people have variety in what they can play because of their large champion pool and large vision card pool. So help set them up, help them understand that like, hey, maybe Ruin Stern, Leela Evasion teams are the meta right now. Encourage your players who can counter that to counter that. But there's other types too. Your guild's also going to have your dolphins, your people who spend a little bit of money, but maybe not the most. And it's also going to have your free to play people or your newer people. And they can also be a major asset um, to winning Guild Wars. So with Dolphins, they have a typically pretty big pool of units and vision cards. And they may or may not be able to counter the current meta. But they should be able to counter something. So encourage your Dolphin level spenders to make very specific team comps aimed at beating something. Maybe they can build a lot of slash resistance. Maybe they have Whisper and slash resist slash resist vision cards and they can build these teams to beat slashing teams encourage them to do that and then look for those teams to beat um, in guild wars and then for your free to play or your new people yeah they're not they're not going to have the strongest lineup they're going to have a limited number of 99 units of vision cards but they can still be helpful in guild wars with this strategy so what's the strategy let's look at it it's called the snowball strategy we're first going to look at what whales should do, then we're going to look at dolphins and your free-to-play players. But notice in the middle of the screen here, this is what you might see, or a sample of what you might see, when you're looking at a Guild Wars defense. There's four unrevealed teams on the board, there is an already weakened team, and then there's a dead guy. Um, spoiler alert, that dead guy's Dr. Diggs. Uh, shout out Dr. Diggs. <laughs> Used your dead guy as the account um, example here. But, what should you do as a whale if this is what you see? Well, that's what we're going to talk about first. First thing, you smash yourself into one of their unrevealed teams. You're the whale. You're the person in your guild who needs to be able to deal with these full health, full health people. If your whales can't kill full squads, you're going to lose. So, look for a full squad, specifically one that you've built to beat. So in this example, there's a lot of Veneras on the board. So that I'm gonna assume this whale is running a lot of accuracy, maybe sharpshooters or holy casters, something like that. Take one of them out. Then what do you do with your second attack as a whale? Guess what? You smash into another one of these full health people. You might not beat them. That first attack might have taken a lot out of you. You want it because you built to counter them and you're a whale. But you're not healthy after that first attack. You still want to hit another full life squad. The reason for this is you are setting the rest of your guild up for success by weakening them. Perhaps they had to use full life. Maybe they used Jesus Bells and drain their AP to finish you off. Either way, this second attack that you're hitting is your I'm helping attack, where you're setting up one of your non-whales, a target that they can kill. Okay, let's move on. Speaking of the non-whales, let's talk about dolphins for a second. These are the people who can build the counter one or two things, but don't have that massive variety of units and vision cards to counter any everything. So they should do one of two things with their first attack. If they've built to counter one of the unrevealed teams, hit them first. If you're confident as a dolphin that you can beat an unrevealed team, run them over. Go take them out. If you don't see a team that you're confident you can beat, look down to that bottom half of the little green arrows here and take out one of the teams that's already been weakened. That's what they're there for. They're there to ensure that you win your first attack. 
So, after you win your first attack, run yourself into an unrevealed person and throw everything else you got at them to set them up for your other dolphins or your other free-to-play um, or newer account people. Again, the goal with the second attack is setting the rest of your guild up for success. Okay, last up, you got the snowball people. These are your free-to-play people, your minnows, whatever, your not-as-well-developed accounts. With their first attack, never, don't ever hit a full health team unless those are the only options available for you. You should look to clean something up with your first attack. Find somebody who's already been weakened. Maybe they only have one person left. Maybe they only have two people left. Maybe just Ayaka's trundling around out there because she killed somebody with a holy. Great. Somebody still has to deal with that. That's your job. Go clean up that one or two stars that are laying on the board and then slap an unrevealed team and set somebody else up for success. So I think you've seen the like general idea of this, right? Let's go back a little bit. If you're a whale, hit an unrevealed team, then hit another unrevealed team. If you're a dolphin, you kind of have some choice there. If there's an unrevealed team you think you can beat, smash them. If not, snowball and then reveal with your second attack. If you're in the free to play, like you have to snowball every time strategy, look for the already weakened team, then hook somebody else up by weakening another team. Bingo, that's it. It's a pretty simple strategy, but if it's followed, you will find that you full clear guilds more often. So, general tips. Uh, tip one, win your first attack. Winning your first attack is the whole point of this. The whole point of this strategy is setting up good first targets for people in your guild, especially for the people who can't just muscle their way through unrevealed targets without help. It's all about setting up the next guy. If you get zero stars on your second attack, no big deal. You still made them use some skills, you made them use, like if you're fighting an evasion team, they probably cast their evasion buffs, and maybe now they don't have those available for the next person who fights them. Um, if you're in that whale or dolphin class, I encourage you to build specifically to beat things, and then go look for those things and beat them. That's going to be your best way of helping the guild, and that's the best way to like leverage your spending into success in Guild Wars. Um, if your specific thing isn't there, if you built to beat magic teams and there's no magic teams available to fight, go straight to the snowball method and play like you're a free-to-play player where you just clean up some stars and then smash into something else as hard as you can. And that's really it, guys. Um, I hope this video was pretty short and informative. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come. I encourage anybody who watches my videos to come hang out with us at um, in the Salt Squad. We have a nice community there. Competitive guilds, non-competitive guilds. We're always looking for more people, so swing on by. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.